Um, so I want to talk about TikTok a little bit more because you hopped on TikTok, I think like a, a month before me, you saw the crazy growth on there and you were one of the people who was like, Mike, you got to get on this platform, you know, you got to get on here quick. Um, so can you talk a little bit more about like just the importance of not only TikTok, but building a following before you actually go and launch a product and like what that might look for um, look like for someone, right? Let's say someone's out there, they have 100,000 followers on TikTok, they built that following, um, kind of using like some of your models, what would you recommend the steps that they take to start to monetize? Yeah, for sure. So the first thing is, you know, we would recommend everyone be on social media for at least a month or two building out their social followings before they would consider bringing anything to market. Um, but as far as kind of getting on TikTok, I mean, I was, you know, a lot of the times when we lived together, I was just ripping organic marketing, you know, spending a lot of time in Facebook groups and just, you know, building relationships in the DMs, you know, looking for leads really anywhere um, that I could try to find leads to push them to affiliate offers. Um, and I kept hearing, you know, TikTok, TikTok. And um, I was actually talking to someone on the phone who I was on a sales call and it was like a 45 year old, you know, corporate office worker telling me about TikTok. And I'm like, this is kind of weird that this guy's, you know, bringing this up. And then it was actually your sister was like, yo, you guys should, you guys should get on TikTok. There's crazy stuff going on there. And it just, it kind of hit this threshold, right? Whereas initially like, you know, this is a dance platform. This is a kid's platform. And this is like, for me, November of 2020 um, is when all I was hearing all this. And then I was like, you know what? I got to hop on the platform. So I hopped on the platform. Um, and I realized very quickly the ability to grow very, very fast. And for me, it was always about lead generation, right? Because I was just building an email list off of TikTok, um, pushing them to affiliate offers. Um, and something else that I didn't realize as well is the ability to build relationships on TikTok platform. It does not exist anywhere else. Like you cannot put yourself out there like you can on TikTok and have your authenticity shine through on a platform like that. Um, but kind of like a long winded answer to where you're going, but you said anyone, you know, let's say there's someone who has a hundred thousand followers on TikTok, right? Yep. Um, the first thing that I would suggest is you have to do two things. The first thing you need to do is focus on building an email list. So you definitely want to have email capture on there because that email list is going to be a very important long-term asset for your business. It may not pay dividends in the short term but a year, two years, three years, five years down the road, that email list is going to be key. The second thing is community building. So pretty much every single one of our clients, the first thing that we have them do is push all of their leads. If they're on TikTok, directly into a Facebook group and then push all of their high value content into that Facebook group, put YouTube videos in there, go live in there, do engaging posts and start to take that, you know, cold market on TikTok push them to somewhere that's warm, somewhere that you have control over them. And I almost view a Facebook group like an email list, right? Except even more powerful in my opinion. Now you don't own it like you own an email list, but you control those leads. You can reach out to those leads. You're going to get much better open rates in the messenger. You can get a lot more engagement um, if you're putting posts there. So that would be my recommendation if you're like, you know, one of those people who's just grown a huge following and you don't really know what you're doing. If you have any sort of value to provide, push those people into a Facebook group and just provide massive amounts of value. And then from there, over the course of time, you'll be able to get feedback, determine what an offer is going to be. And then you can launch something from there. I absolutely love that feedback. And um, those are a lot of strategies that I'm trying to implement myself, like growing a Facebook group, growing an email list, because it is so important to have your followers come connect with you off of the platform. Because there's only so deep that you can go with someone in a you know 20 second video on TikTok. And you mentioned just like taking people to a Facebook group and delivering massive value in that group. 